do is develop an algorithm to calculate the total cost of all your friends having a hot chocolate on a cold day. So let's get underway. So this task is going to require us to have a counter because we need to be able to count and calculate the cost. So if we look at the question, we need to calculate the total cost. So that's what our output's going to be. But the other thing is we need to know how many. So how many friends, your friends. So there's multiple of them. So how do we do that? Well, let's get underway. Let's begin by starting with our start symbol. So remember, write the word and then draw the shape. Now we need to get some input. So we need to get if a person would like a hot chocolate. Now to do that, we need to count them. So let's set up a counter. So let's set up um, count equals zero. And this is going to be a processing box. So that way we know who our friends are. We know if they're, if we've got one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to ask them a question. We're going to ask a question, do you want a hot chocolate? And that's a decision because it's going to be an if statement. Now, if they do want a hot chocolate, that's going to be the true part. So the true part's here. We're going to go count plus equals one. So we're going to add one to that counter and that's going to be a processing one. If they don't want a hot chocolate and they answer false, so this is the false branch, we can put in here another decision going another person Now, if there is another person, we can do a loop. Also, we can, after we add one, we can then link to this little loop here. So therefore, do you want a hot chocolate? True, we add one to the counter, we go here. Is it another person? Yes, true, we go up this way. If, they, if there's not another person, then we can move back down. Now you can tell this is the first time I've drawn this diagram and it's a little bit skew with at the moment, so it's always a good idea to do a rough draft. Now you notice with the loop, with another person, we go in above, do you want a hot chocolate? If it's true, we add one to the count. If there's another person, we go back up. If we went higher and actually went in at this level up here, we would actually reset the counter back to zero every time. So it's really important you look at where your loops go and ensure that you're not um, wiping out counter variables. So at the moment, every time we add one to count, we keep going around. And when they go, no, there's not another person, so this is now the false branch, what do we want to do then? Well, we need to work out what the total cost of the hot chocolate is. So this is going to be a processing box. So it's going to be one of the uh, rectangle type boxes. And we're going to go total will be equal to uh, the count times the cost of hot chocolate. Now, we don't know what the price of hot chocolate is. We can get that from the developers or, you know, from the client at another time. Therefore, this is an algorithm. So it's to show the logic and the flow. And once again, we use the square sort of box. Now, once we've done that, we can then output the total cost. So display or print total cost. And this is going to be an output. So it's going to be one of the slanty boxes. And that will print the total cost. And just going up to check out a question you see here, the total cost of all your friends having a hot chocolate on a cold day. So now what we're doing is showing the total cost so we achieve the objective of the program. And then once we've done that, we can then go to the stop. And now we have the algorithm to complete this program. If you've got more questions, please ask. Otherwise, I wish you all the best with your flowcharts and your algorithmic design.